In this video, I'm going to use an Arduino and the DS1307 real-time clock chip to store data in the uh, upper 56 bytes of the DS1307. So those bytes are just general purpose addresses that you can use to store anything. So for example, if you had a maybe a temperature sensor, uh, you could take the min and max temperature and the timestamp associated with those temperatures and store them in those address areas. Okay, so this is the schematic. Um, we have the Arduino on the right and the breadboard with components on the left. And it's, this is a really, really small, simple circuit. So we have the DS1307 chip in pins 1 and 2. We have the 38.768 quartz crystal oscillator. Uh, pin 3 is the um, optional lithium battery pin. We're not hooking that up. Pin 4 is ground. Pin 5 is the I squared C data bus, which connects to analog 4 on the Arduino. Pin 6 is the I squared C clock bus, and that connects to pin 5 on the Arduino. Pin 7 is for the square wave out, so we're not using that, uh, so that's not connected. Uh, pin 8 is the power, the VCCN, and that's connected to the 5 volt power rail and the breadboard itself is powered by the 5 volts from the Arduino. Okay so this is the data sheet for the DS1307 clock and if you look here on the right under features it tells you you have a, a 56 byte battery backed general purpose RAM with unlimited writes. So that's that's the area on the chip that we're going to be using um, and if you go down to this timekeeping registers table this last row here is what they're talking about. So there's there's 56 times 8, so that's um, 56 uh, bytes, uh, 56 times 8 bits of, uh, of address space. And it begins at address 08 hex and goes to uh, 3F hex. Okay, so this is the sketch uh, that's going to write to these uh, the addresses on the DS thirteen oh seven, and we need to include the the wire library so that that will handle the I squared C serial protocol, and then we need to define the the I squared C address of the DS thirteen oh seven, and that is uh, hex sixty eight, and so in this sketch we're not going to do anything in the loop. So basically, we're going to do things in the setup. So all it's really going to do is write two different values to two different addresses and I just kind of chose them uh, arbitrarily. Um, so in the setup uh, we're going to do wire begin that's going to start the um, or uh, initialize the the I squared C data buses and uh, serial begin at 9600 baud um, because after what we're going to do we're going to write a value to the um, to an address on the DS1307 and then we're going to read it and display it in the uh, serial monitor. Then we're going to do it again at a different value at a different address. So it's a pretty short script, pretty simple. Okay, so the the first address uh, we're going to write to is address 22 and we're going to send it the value 255. Okay, so then it's going to call a function I wrote called write address we pass it the address and value so if we go down to write address uh, we're gonna call these wire library functions so we're gonna first call begin transmission and we send it the I squared C address we want to write to which was 68 hex and then we're gonna write the address that we're going to write to so this kind of sets the internal address pointer on the DS1307 you do this for reading and writing and then we're going to write write the value and then we're going to call uh, end transmission okay then um, and okay so then we're going to read the uh, from the address so we're going to call a function called read address send it the address and that's going to return a byte that it read we're going to call that red value and then we're going to print that out so if we go to read address uh, again the address is passed in uh, like like the write function we're going to call begin transmission and send it the I squared C address for the DS1307 and then 
even though we're reading, we have to set the pointer to where we want to read from. So that requires a write. So we want to write the address, do end transmission. Okay, and then to do the read, do wire dot request from, and you send it the I squared C address, which was 68 hex, and then how many bytes you want to read. Okay, so then we're just going to call return wire dot read. So wire dot read returns uh, one byte from the address that was passed in, and that gets returned as a byte. Okay, and then we're going to uh, print that out to the serial monitor here. Then we're going to do the, just the same thing uh, at the next address with a different value. And um, like I said, these are just kind of chosen at random. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and open the serial monitor and maybe upload the sketch first. Go to serial monitor. Okay, so there's the values that um, that were returned, which is what we expected, uh, 255 and 64. Um, like I said, there's probably not a whole lot of uses for this, um, for these memory addresses because really most of the Arduinos already have EEPROM, which, uh, you could store things in those, in that memory and, um, even if you unplug the Arduino, those values will stay there. Um, I think there's a couple of Arduinos that don't have any EEPROM. I think the zero and maybe the do, do not. So if you're using those and, and you're using this clock chip, maybe to, I don't know, measure temperatures, and you're tr tracking min and maxes and when they occurred. Um, you could use these upper level uh, 56 bytes on the DS1307 chip itself uh, to store those values, as long as you you have the uh, the lithium battery hooked up. So, um, so if you if you lose power, the lithium battery will uh, retain uh, everything stored in those addresses. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.